feel like I might get done by 8 o'clock. channel if you are new hi my name is Shani Stevens I do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on my channel and I also happen to be a makeup artist so if you're interested in any of that content definitely come back and watch more videos and subscribe before you leave so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my hair I got this unit from you nice hair and they're also sponsoring today's video so shout out to them thank you for sponsoring the video thank you for coming back to work with me um, because I have worked with them before years ago so yeah that's basically what I'm going to be doing in today's video this was a curly unit and I blew it out straightened it and curled it so I just want to show you guys that whole process hopefully you guys enjoy it I know this is pretty much the same look that I normally do but I've been really trying to find a unit that matches my texture um, because the majority of the units that I have been finding are a little bit too fine for my hair or a little bit too coarse and I feel like this unit blown out matches the texture of my hair it may not match the color I am going to eventually dye it but not in this video so if you guys are interested in this unit interested in seeing what I did to this unit let's just go ahead and get into this video excuse the background noise I apologize um, but yeah let's go ahead and get into this video and hopefully y'all like it I like it I think it came out really really good so yeah let's get into this video okay first things first i have to wash well rewash this hair because i've already been wearing it i straightened it i did i did all of the things with this wig already if you watch my vlogs y'all been seeing me wear this wig so i'm using the mane and tail and body shampoo um to just shampoo this hair you already know how that goes and i think i shampooed it twice i didn't have any problems with shedding um i didn't have a smell the hair wasn't running at all um it was a breeze to wash this hair like i washed this hair very very fast now before i get into the thick of this video and i just start rambling about the hair i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the specifics so i got the unice beginner friendly v part kinky curly wig um upgraded u part um and i got it in the inches 18. the only thing that i would say about this wig is that i should have got like a 1b because my hair is definitely way darker than this unit and i know some of you guys might ask why didn't i just wear the unit in its curly state girl because i, I wear my hair straight <laughs> that's that's why and i'm in the process of trying to find a unit that mimics my blown out hair if that makes sense because i'm always coming across units that are either too fine or too coarse i need something like in the middle so i decided to try a three a type three texture um and see how that blown out because typically my curl pattern is always associated with hair being more coarse um and my hair isn't super coarse i don't want to offend nobody so that's why i'm like <laughs> trying to pick my words words wisely um but yeah that's why i decided to get this curl pattern um because I just wanted to see how it would blend with my hair and honestly y'all I have gotten so many compliments on this unit everybody thinks it's my hair and I'm just like y'all come on I literally just chopped my hair off in February it has not grown back and honestly my hair would never be this thick so um it's flattering though thank you <laughs> but yeah that's why I decided to get this unit and honestly I'm really liking it it does frizz out though but my hair be frizzing out so um I don't really mind that part but once I get my products together because y'all know Redken decided to discontinue the satin wear and I ran out so ever since I ran out of that product every time I straighten my hair it frizzes out so now I'm kind of back at square one trying to figure out what products um work in my hair when I want it straight because if I'm gonna have a straight I want it straight you know what i'm saying i don't want to have to deal with the frizz so yeah that's kind of what i'm going through right now and i just need units that match what my hair is doing right now okay now i'm moving into conditioner i just finished my second shampoo with the it's a 10 miracle silk shampoo i really like that shampoo for my hair and my units because for one it smells 
so good and it actually works and it makes my hair shiny and bouncy and flowy so i really like using that shampoo um and that shampoo is also very moisturizing but lightweight it doesn't weigh my hair down at all um so i really like using that shampoo as like a little secret ingredient um and then i'm just gonna go in and condition this unit with my mane and tail conditioner and I just remembered while watching this video and editing it that I ran out of the Mane and Tail conditioner. So I started using the Redken All Soft Shampoo, not shampoo, but All Soft um, Conditioner by Redken. And I was also running out of that conditioner. So obviously I need to go to the store. <laughs> but yeah, I used two conditioner. The Redken All Soft Conditioner and the Mane and Tail Conditioner. Okay, now that I'm done washing and conditioning the hair, I'm moving into detangling and sectioning the hair off so that it's easier for me to just blow it out. So I'm using the Redken One United Spray to detangle this hair and it's also a heat protectant. It's, it's a multi-use spray so it does a lot um, and I've been using it for years so I just naturally just use it on my units because this is the only thing that I really have on hand. So I'm just gonna spray it all over this unit um, and get a good amount in there so that when I go in and detangle, it keeps it detangled and it just makes the hair more manageable. Y'all, sorry for the autofocus, it's going crazy. <laughs> it will not stay focused on this unit because I guess my face isn't in the video so it's just really going crazy right now. But yeah, I'm just spraying the One United Spray all over the hair and getting a good amount in there and then once I feel like the hair has been coated enough with the Redken spray I'm just gonna brush through it and section it off I'm gonna twist it out of the way first once I finish detangling that section and then band to knot it out of the way so that the hair stays stretched and detangle and then it just makes it easier for me to blow dry and stretch this hair out Alright, moving into the blow out, blow dry process. After everything is sectioned off, I'm going to take down one bantu knot section, split it in half. Because when I'm blowing out this hair, I don't want the sections to be too big. So that's why I just split it down the middle. And then I'm just going to work on that section and smooth the hair out. I'm using the tension method. If you guys watch my hair videos, Y'all know when it comes to blowing my hair out, I always use the tension method. It just works for me. And the blow dryer that I'm using is from Silverbird. I'm using everything on high. And the brush that I'm using is from Dimmon. I think you can purchase it from Ulta or Amazon. I'll have a link down below. And I'm just gonna take my time and blow this hair out. I don't know if y'all peeped it, but I did get a new mannequin head that attaches to my countertops and it just makes it so much easier to do these hair videos for y'all. It's like I'm really doing somebody's head, like. <laughs> Please don't take me too serious in these hair videos. Um, but yeah, I feel like this made it so much easier to do my hair because y'all be seeing me take the wig off in my videos and put it back on. And it just be a lot. So yeah, I'm just really hyped that I got a mannequin head now. It just makes the whole styling process a lot easier when it comes to doing these units and filming it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish smoothing out this hair and let y'all watch.
Okay, so this is how the hair is looking all blown out. Now I'm just gonna add some frizz dismiss to the hair to help with the frizz, but honestly, I'm not sure if this frizz dismiss actually worked. Um, but that's neither here or there. I put it on the hair regardless. <laughs> so I'm just telling y'all what I did. So I just massaged that serum through the hair from root to tip. And I wanted to make sure the ends were coated. And then I just went into straightening this hair, which took a good amount of time, but I got it done. And I'm just gonna go through this unit and chase the comb with a flat iron or chase the flat iron with comb. I do it both ways. And the flat iron that I am using is from Babyless. I think this is the one inch. Um, the clips are from Amazon. I will link them in my description box and they're also on my Amazon storefront. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through and straighten this hair out. And then I will move into the bathroom, which you guys are used to seeing. Um, I decided to do the hair in my living room kitchen area because it was just more space. Um, and the countertops are a lot higher in my kitchen. So that's why I decided, yeah, y'all don't care. Anyways, I'm gonna finish. <laughs> the way I just be cutting myself off, Anyways, I'm gonna finish straightening this hair out and then we will move into the bathroom. Okay, so it's been a couple days since the last clip that you guys have seen and the hair has just been sitting. So it literally just reverted back to its blowout state. It doesn't look like I straightened it at all, um, but that's okay, I'm gonna straighten it again. And I'm just showing you guys the difference in color and clearly the wig is lighter than my hair. I will probably end up dyeing this hair, but I didn't have no color on hand, so I was just like, I don't really care. <laughs> so yeah, eventually I will probably tone this hair so that it matches with my hair color. But in the meantime, in between time, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm giving, and hopefully it don't look that bad. All right, so this is how the hair is looking all blown out, 20 inches. Um, as y'all saw, the hair is like a different color, but it's okay, I'm not about to dye. So yeah, this is my hair all blown out. If y'all are interested in how I got my hair to this point, I'll link my most current silk press routine, or you guys can watch one of my vlogs because sometimes I show myself washing my hair. So yeah, if you're interested in how I blow up my hair, watch that video and that will let you know everything you need to know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do an anchor braid. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me do that before. An anchor braid, I'm not gonna braid all of my hair. The rest of my hair is gonna be like in a ponytail because I don't got time. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come back to you guys and we're gonna go ahead and style this beautiful unit that I just blew out. So yeah, let me go ahead and get started. All right, as you guys can see, I just finished washing my hair and blow drying it out. I haven't put a flat iron or hot comb to it yet. I'm just going to do that after the fact when I curl it. So I'm gonna go ahead and section off my leave out, which it will be in a side part. Y'all know I've been killing it with the side parts this year. <laughs> Hopefully my next install might be a middle part, but the way a side part has me in a chokehold is crazy. But honestly, I've always been a side part type of girl, um, but I do like a, a middle part, you know, a little good, a little bust down. But the way the side part be hitting every single time, I just got to keep doing it. I'm addicted at this point. So yeah, I have my leave out section out of the way and then i'm just gonna leave a slither of the perimeter of my hair out for you know baby hairs and just hair to cover up the wig because if the wind blow i need everybody to know that this is my hair when i know it's not my hair but i don't need no random person seeing me and be like oh that's a wig no you're definitely not gonna know it's a wig because y'all i don't know what it is about this wig but everybody thinks this is my hair y'all my co-worker was literally baffled when I told her this was a wig because she asked me like how do I keep my hair curled because it was in wand curls and I was like I just throw it off at night <laughs> I really gotta stop but that's what I do that's how I kept the you know the curls on my hair I just take it off at night and put it back on in the morning and that's what it is and she was literally just staring at me like you're literally lying 
you're lying. <laughs> so basically what I just finished doing was sectioning off my hair for my anchor braid because I'm not braiding my whole head. I did that before in the video, it took me three hours, not doing it again, okay? Uh, I don't even know how to braid like that. So once I finish sectioning off my hair for my leave out, I also do another part for my anchor braid that's going to be going around my leave out so that the combs of the wig can attach to it and lay very, very flat. And then for the other side of my head, I'm just going to braid it back in a cornrow. That's it. And then I'm gonna crisscross the back and bobby pin it up and that's gonna be my braid down. Too easy, I'm not doing too much. All right, so now that the braid down is done, we can get into putting this wig on my head. So this looks like a regular Degler wig, except for the top part of the wig, it's lace. And I think that's the key, y'all. I think that's the key. Usually in U part wigs, it's like tracks on top of the wig. Like it's usually tracks, but the top of this wig is a lace and it lays so flat, which is probably why people keep thinking this is my hair. The only thing that's throwing this wig off is the color of it. And um, that's an easy fix. I can easily just dye it. Am I going to dye it? Hopefully. Hopefully, but I know myself and I know that I might not do it, but hopefully I'll dye this wig. Hopefully I'll do something else to this wig. We'll see. Stay tuned to my vlogs. But yeah, I'm just putting this wig on my head. Y'all see me as an easy, it's easy. Just put the wig, just clip it on. That That's literally it. Okay, so the wig is fully clipped on. Now let's take down the leave out. And this, this is when it did it for me. This is when I was just like, oh, I see you. What wig? Please tell me what wig. This is my hair. There is no debate. What are you talking about? What wig? This is my hair. Like, look at the blend. We're not talking about the color. Look at the texture of the hair blending with the texture of my hair. Listen, you nice hair, you nice hair, they did what they had to do with this unit because it looks absolutely stunning, curly. I'll link a video. Chrissy did one and it was curly. But this hair also looks stunning, blown out, straightened, and curled. And... I've wand curled this hair. People go crazy. Look, the men go crazy <laughs> when I do the wand curls. <laughs> no, but I really, I'm really enjoying, no, I was dead serious, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this unit because it just, it gives. It gives, this is my hair. What are you talking about? What wig? <laughs> All right, so as you guys can see, I just went ahead and sectioned off my hair and I'm gonna go into straightening this unit back out. It is blow dried out right now. Um, I think, actually no, I did straighten this hair. It's set for a couple of days. And when I say a couple of days, I feel like it's set for like a week. So I just feel like it reverted back to its blowout state. So I'm just taking the flat iron through it section by section and I did try to take my time straightening this hair back out I really need to get a wider flat iron because straightening out hair that's longer than 18 inches be taking a minute with a with this small flat iron but yeah I did try to take my time to straighten the hair back out a bit um <laughs> y'all see me feeling myself and then I'm gonna go into um curling
okay so i know y'all probably wanted me to do long curls on this hair but honestly i just wanted to do this i think it's called a barrel curl flat curls whatever you call it i just want to see how this hair looks with this type of curl because if you watch my um september or august vlog y'all seen that i already wand curled this hair so if you really wanted to see this hair wand curled i curled it in my monthly vlogs that i do so yeah i mean i think it just looks so cute hopefully this hair doesn't frizz out too much when i walk outside honestly i don't think i'm going anywhere today but who knows so i'm just doing my hair so it's done because i've been walking around with a slick back for like a week and a half and at this point can you take care of your hair <laughs> uh, so yeah i'm loving it so far like there's no static over here at all i'm just really trying to get it over with because this is a long process like i've been doing my hair since like maybe two o'clock today and it's now 6.42. So yeah, at this point, I'm over it. <laughs> and I just want my hair done. And then I still have to put my makeup on and finish off the video for y'all to give you a look, you know? So yeah, hopefully this doesn't take me too much longer. I feel like I might get done by 8 o'clock. But like, I'm enjoying it. Like this hair, this is what I mean by kinky straight. This is what I be wanting. The other kinky straight hair that I usually am wearing, which I don't mind wearing at all, it's just sometimes it's like too coarse for my hair, if that makes sense. My hair isn't fine, but it's on the fine side. It's like right in the middle. It's like coarse and fine mixed, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, so when I get like kinky straight hair, it never really matches the texture or the feeling of my hair because the extensions are always a little bit coarser but I don't really be caring at least to be looking like my hair that's all I be caring about honestly because if it don't look like my hair I don't want it you know what I'm saying but yeah I'm gonna finish curling this hair I don't want to talk too much because I don't want to talk y'all heads off I'll save that for a vlog um but yeah like I'm excited and I'm just throwing the roller in there honestly I might finish off this video tomorrow if I don't go anywhere like I'll do my hair take the rollers out and put um, flat curls in it because I don't want the curls to sit like this I'm just putting the rollers in my hair right now so I can get it out the way um, but yeah if I don't go anywhere tonight I'll take these down and sleep with it in flat curls or pin curls, whatever you call it. And then come back to you guys in the morning and see what it looked like. But like, isn't this girl so cute? I'm obsessed. All right, so it's later on that same day. I'm getting ready for bed. I let the curls sit and everything. Um, and I'm taking the rollers out because I'm going to put them in pin curls or flat curls whatever you call them, I just know I'm not sleeping with these rollers in my head because I don't get good sleep when I'm sleeping with rollers in my head because they just, it's just uncomfortable. For one, I already have a wig on and then having rollers in my head, no, that's doing too much. So I'm taking the rollers out so that I can pin curl them and then go to sleep. That's basically what I'm doing. Okay, so this is how the curls are looking once they have finished setting pretty much all day because I didn't I don't think I left the house yeah I didn't leave the house I was doing stuff around the house but yeah this is how the hair is looking and I'm just going to like I said for like the third time I'm just going to go ahead and pin curl them up and get in the bed so that I can wake up early and film myself taking down the pin curls before I head into work so I will see y'all in a couple hours All right, rise and shine, beautiful people. I'm in a rush. <laughs> so I'm just throwing these pins out of my hair. Not throwing them, I'm being dramatic. But I'm just taking them out very quickly. Um, and then I'm going to put a headband on because that's what I usually do for work. Real cute, real simple. 
not too much rah-rah so yeah sleeping with this wig on was fine i don't sleep with this wig on all the time i just wanted to sleep with it on this day because i knew i had to be up very early for work and then i had to get up extra early to make sure i got this clip for you guys so yeah this is how the hair is looking the tape down the freshness of this hair oh my gosh y'all it looks so good wow all right you guys so i am back it's the end of the night and um this hair has done so good mind you i've been at work pretty much all morning and evening well not evening but nine to five basically um yeah it was pretty much nine to five um and then after that got off me my niece and my mom went out to defy gravity to celebrate my niece's birthday um and this is how the hair has of course you know we went other places like we got some ice cream went to walmart i don't know why i'm telling you all of this but we i've been out and about um of course it's not too too hot outside it's actually feeling like fall and i'm so excited so i wasn't sweating too much um so i think this was the perfect time to have my hair like this because it just looks so so good it held a curl pretty well but i do feel like i should have focused more of the curls at the bottom of the hair because all of the curls are like right here of course disregard my hair because my hair never really holds a curl like that so i wasn't expecting too much <laughs> from my hair but this is how the hair is looking and i'm honestly shocked because the hair is still like giving if i was about to go out i would just pin curl my hair and leave it just like this and take it back down just to make some of my frizz calm down but honestly i wouldn't recurl it i wouldn't do pretty much anything to my hair it looks so good um the texture of the hair is blending so well with my hair but i do feel like i need to dye this hair because i can tell the difference and it's even more noticeable on camera i don't really notice it in person like that but in videos i can tell that this hair is brown other than that i think the hair did really really good today no tangles um it didn't frizz up too much at all i mean it looks like this i haven't curled i haven't retouched it i haven't brushed it out this is how i've been looking pretty much all day but yeah if your hair is like in the middle of being fine and coarse i think this is the perfect texture like i'm obsessed i'm obsessed so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and probably take this wig off because i did sleep in it last night i'll probably come back to you guys in the morning because i am going out of town tomorrow so i'll probably just come back to you guys and um end off the video and just say anything that i haven't said today so yeah that's it for today and i will see you guys hopefully tomorrow <laughs> all right hey y'all i told y'all i was gonna try to come back the next day and show y'all the hair i did just go ahead and recurl it because um i just wanted the curls to be curls for today um i'm about to go to charlotte so i was like let me just go ahead and recurl it because <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna get into honestly i'm probably gonna be in the house this is what the curls are looking like i curled it with my babyless curling iron um so yeah let me just go ahead and put it on real quick and then oh my hair is just in the braids that i showed y'all and um i just pin curled my leave out I'm just gonna throw the wig on my head and get going. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm trying to make sure I'm not being super aggressive with it. Oh, okay. Putting the cones where they need to be. I honestly should have did a braid right here 
so that this um, comb has something to really hook on because it doesn't really have anything to hook on for real because my hair is not super thick right here. So yeah. Now typically I don't like to put edge control on my edges when I first do my hair, but for the purposes of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and lay them down for y'all. I just know when I do this, my hair starts to get greasy. Oh, this is the edge control I'm using right here. I honestly need to get another one because this one is not like, I don't know. I just want it to not grease up. And that's what this one does a little bit. It still keeps them laid down, but I do feel like it greases up a little bit. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I did um, brush it out a little bit with this paddle brush right here. And I low-key think I'm gonna put a little bit of frizz dismiss in it because I feel like it's frizzing up a little bit. I haven't put any of this in the hair yet, but I'm looking at it and I'm just like, I think it needs a little bit of oil. Who's calling me? Oh, Kiana's calling. They don't have any left. Oh dang, I picked up too late. Um, but yeah, this is how the hair is looking. Obviously, I am rushing out the door. I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. And again, thank you so much, You Nice Hair, for sponsoring today's video and also sending over this beautiful unit. Like, I'm pleasantly surprised by like the texture and just how it looks. Um, and how it just holds a curl. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys are interested in the makeup, hopefully um, the Get Ready With Me that I filmed is good. So then you guys will see me do my makeup. Even though it's my normal, typical products, I was actually getting ready. So hopefully if that video comes out good, I will post it. So once it is live, I will link my makeup look in the cards or in my description box so yeah that is it for today's video i done talked y'all heads off enough today or enough in this video um so yeah i love y'all and i will see you guys in my next video